Hello, this is Andrew Mount for GG. It's Monday the 10th of February, which means we're exactly one month away from the opening day of the Cheltenham Festival. So I want to use this video and uh, those coming up in the next few weeks to discuss Cheltenham Festival matters. Now, uh, we're going to kick off with some general uh, stats and angles uh, regarding um, wind operations and first time headgear. Now, uh, I was reminiscing recently with uh, a Cheltenham race guy regarding a horse called Your Special, the 33 to 1 winner of the 2006 Kim Muir. Now, Your Special had apparently had wind surgery before that run, but of course, this information wasn't available to punters and it certainly wasn't in the race card as it is now. Now, since January 2018, wind surgery has had to be declared. So for the last two Cheltenham festivals, we've had this information available. Now in that time, we've had 29 runners line up after uh, first time wind surgery. Three of the 29 won at odds of 28 to one, 12 to one and eight to one. Backing them blind would have shown a profit of 22 pounds to a one pound level stake. It's obviously a small sample size, but it's certainly interesting. And in handicaps only, the record is three from 19 for a profit of 32 pounds. So certainly look out for those and perhaps give them a little bit of extra weight next month. Now, um, second time wind up horses have won just once from 18 starts. That was Altior, winner of the 2018 Queen Mother Champion Chase. Although those having their third run after wind surgery won two of their 14 starts for a small profit. And the only two who started shorter than 12 to one both won. They would beware the bear, last year's Ultima winner at 10 to 1, and top of the game, who won the RSA at 4 to 1. Again, that was last year. So certainly, um, you know, look out for those uh, W1, W2 and W3 symbols on the Racing Post race card. Now, moving on to uh, first time headgear, I want to talk particularly about hurdlers in first time hoods. Now, regular readers of my blog on gg.co.uk and listeners to William Hill Radio will know I often oppose hurdlers uh, wearing this particular form of headgear for the first time because they've got a terrible record. Now, going back five years to uh, the start of 2015, 2,111 hurdlers have worn a hood for the first time, and only 133 of those won, um, a strike rate just over 6%. And backing them blind would have resulted in a huge loss of £1,236 to a £1 level stake. Now obviously a lot of those were big prices, um, but at the Cheltenham Festival only, um, the record was 0 from 19. And they include uh, Epitant, uh, the current favourite for the champion hurdle, who was beaten at odds of 15 to 8 at this meeting last year in a first time hood. And if we extend it to entry, uh, again, uh, no winners in that time period. Now, this is the Atri Festival in um, sort of early April, and they include high profile flops like Apple Shakira, who was uh, a 17 length third when the 13 to 8 favourite for the anniversary hurdle at a Grade 1 juvenile contest. So that brings me to Pentland Hills, the current second favourite for the champion hurdle, around about 5 to 1 or 11 to 2. Now, a lot of punters are crying out for um, Nicky Henderson to put a hood on him for the first time. However, if we uh, look at all class one hurdle, hurdles, uh, horses in first time hoods in the last five years, just one winner from 81. So I wouldn't be, um, you know, if you're a fan of Penland Hills, if you back the horse anti-post or if you're one of the many thousands of owners, I certainly wouldn't be jumping on that uh, first time hood bandwagon because it's not been a good angle in recent years. He's a horse I'm quite happy to side with in the champion hurdle, but if I see H1 next to his name on the race card, then I'm going to take him on. Right, that's it from me until later this week when I'll be discussing specific uh, trainer angles for the festival. Until then, cheers and best of luck.